the infamous 725 or as it's known in this game the Lockwood 300 today we're going to be taking a look at the best class for this shotgun as well as the best weapon tunings on set attachments so if you guys are interested in kind of a one-stop shop 725 video this should be for you and we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it so to start out we have the high stock mod which is basically a no stock i run this on all my shotguns for very obvious reasons rent to fire speed uh movement speed ads speed all that it's definitely handy on this thing and i wouldn't pick any of these other stocks not sure what infinity ward was thinking adding stocks that have one pro to two cons but i don't know never used any of the other ones never will now the demo guard this is kind of an optional attachment but i run it for the tuning so stick around for why that is but this thing does sprint speed and hip walking speed but it is kind of optional if you wanted to run an optic because you ads a lot with this gun which i actually pretty often do or dragon's breath or slugs or something like that it's definitely an option but for like a everyday kind of rushing shotgun class setup as much as you can rush in this game that's what this is for now for the laser i do run the laser that they can see on this one um if you saw my last video i didn't i don't really recommend it on the on the bryson i don't know why i seem to have better luck running it on this on this shotgun i i'm not sure i just maybe it's because i ads a little bit more often with this because this thing does have the the range to kill people if you ads so maybe that's why it doesn't get me killed as often if you find it gets you killed often you can go down to another laser or you know like i said before slugs dragon breath or an optic or something like that but on this one i pretty much do stick with the laser they can see at least i will until it becomes a problem and then this is just standard shotgun stuff the choke and the barrel you want the one that does uh tighter pellet tighter pellet spread and damage range these two here look the same to me just the cons are different um actually no the cons are the same they're just swapped around so uh this one appears to give a little more, it's really hard to see, a little more range with a little less damage. I just go with that one. Either one would probably work. The tuning on them would be the same as well. So the uh, Bryzen Series 5 choke, that's what I run on there. The barrel, I run the, the same thing. Damage range, uh, bullet velocity, tighter pellet spread, all that good stuff. Once again, there are two barrels that look like they do about the same thing, but this one appears just slightly more range and slightly more damage, so that's why I chose it. But now let's go ahead and jump into the tuning. Once again, you can't tune your no stock. I wish you could for more sprint out speed, but the reason for running the demo carbon guard is because you can tune it for sprint out speed. Sprint out speed on this thing is kind of ridiculous. Even with that really long barrel, it's like, it, it's so unrealistic and feels weird in this game, just how fast you draw it up. It's it's really weird. So it's definitely, definitely the best one. This one over here, crouch movement speed, aim walking steadiness. I don't do anything with it. You could if you wanted. And the uh, choke and barrel are pretty much just like my last video on the Bryson. Um, I do damage range over, a, over ADS speed. You could go that way if you wanted. And I go sprint to fire speed over tighter pellet spread. And that's because, like I said in my last video, if I get my pellet spread too tight, I seem to get more hit markers at close range. I don't know why. Uh, maybe my aim's not that good, but if maybe if you're a god or something, you could run tighter pellet spread. But it's already pretty damn tight with this setup, so I, I leave it at sprint out speed. And then on the barrel, it's kind of the same thing. Damage range over ADS speed, and I leave this in the middle. You could do either one you wanted. Aim walking speed might not be a bad one to choose on the 725. It's not bad, but the only problem is the aim walking sway with shotguns is really bad, so I don't really recommend aiming and walking around as it is. But anyway, that is the quick rundown of the 725 slash Lockwood 300 best class setup. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's just another COD. You want damage range, tighter pellet spread, sprint out speed, all that good stuff. So... If you guys like shotgun content, there's going to be a lot more coming. Eventually, I'll get into some gameplays and clips and a lot of rage content, hopefully. Maybe jump in some S&D. But if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one.